So I'm going to model a, a slight um, generalization of the mechanism um, we did last for the kappa curve, and this produces a similar curve, which Newberg calls the pan-kappa uh, curve. Um, the slider will be on a, a, an offset line. Um, let me uh, look at it in GX web. So uh, what we're going to do is we could um, let's put the uh, axis on. Um, this mechanism wants um, the slider to be on a um, a parallel to the x-axis, but not actually the x-axis. Um, so let's uh, constrain the distance between that line and the x-axis to be a. And we're going to have the same uh, mechanism we had before, which is uh, a couple of lines like this. And a right angle between the two. Now, this distance here between B and D and E is prescribed, uh, but the distance from E to A is not. Um, and because A is the fixed point, GX Web is not going to allow us to put these cons the constraints we'd really like in. We'd really like this distance here to be constrained, uh, but it's not going to let us do that. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to specify the angle here. And we're going to specify this length from A to E. Call that T. But we'd like a value of t such that b, such that e to d is prescribed. Uh, I'm prescribed to be the length b. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, as I did in the last uh, mechanism, is I'm going to go off uh, into a separate GX web um, window and work out what length should a e b. So this is a simple um, a piece of geometry, which is going to look like this. Um, we want this angle here to be theta. Um, we want this distance from C to D perpendicular. So let's make that perpendicular. We'd want that perpendicular distance to be A. We want this length to be B. And we want this angle here to be uh, right. And so given those constraints, we'd like to know what uh, distance AB is. There we have the expression. We'd like to now paste that into our original drawing so we can copy that and go back into our uh, original drawing there. So instead of T, um, we want that to be um, A plus B cos theta over sine theta. And given that, let's just check that distance DE is what we want it to be. Uh, does in fact be, um, which was what we wanted. So, uh, so we're good. Uh, we can now look at the different curves that we can generate with this. Uh, first curve we're going to do is uh, the curve uh, traced by E as theta varies. Uh, now we have that curve. Let's have a look at its equation. Um, 
Now let's now look at the equation of um, the, the 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 trace the curves traced by B and C. First of all, change color um, for the previous one. Curve traced by B. Theta varies. Aha. Um, that doesn't look right. That's because we have not specified the length from B to E. And let's do that. Same time, let's specify the length from C to E. Okay, so there's that curve for its equation. Getting more and more complicated. Um, let's turn that gray at the same time. And look at the curve traced by C. Okay, uh, take this equation. Um, even more complicated, but these are the Pan Kappa curves of Newburgh. 